Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. My name is Cornell Hunter. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top five overrated players in today's NFL. Overrated meaning that this crop of player gets a bit too much credit for their team's overall success. Number five on my list, I want to start out in Oakland with running back Darren McFadden. Here is a kid who was taken number four in the draft because of his 4-2 speed, but in this league you have to be able to change directions and Darren McFadden has minimal agility and when the play is not there he cannot create, plus he struggles with injuries with his upright running style. Number four on my list, I want to go to Joseph Adai. Here is a kid who stepped in in the Indianapolis offense and had a phenomenal rookie season. Since then, his numbers have slowly declined, and he struggled with a bit, bit of injury problems. And he had the same problem while at LSU, never carrying the load. Indianapolis brought in UConn running back Donald Brown. Look for him to steal a lot of carries away from Joseph Adai in this upcoming season, and maybe even taking over that starting role in Indianapolis. Number three on my list. I want to go to Green Bay running back Ryan Grant. Here is a kid who reminds me a lot of Darren McFadden. Upright style, can hit a lane if it's there and pop you a big one every now and then, but he struggles to create the play if there are no running lanes made by the offensive line. And in this league, the best backs are the ones that can create something out of nothing. Even if the hole is not there, they find ways to get extra positive yardage. Number two on my list. I have to go with Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo. You are ultimately judged by what you do with the game on the line. If you go back to 2006, Romo fumbled the snap, sent the Cowboys home for the season, then went into hiding. You go to 2007, Cowboys started off great, 13-3 and record, playoff time came, they were eliminated in their first playoff game versus the New York Giants. And we all know what happened last year with their season on the line. The Cowboys went into Philadelphia and were embarrassed 44-6. to The game wasn't even competitive. And if you're going to be making top dollar as a starting quarterback in this league, you have to do better with the game on the line. And it just seems that when December rolls around, Romo continues to fold. And number one on my list, Carolina quarterback Jake DeLone. Here is a guy who stepped in in Carolina, brought him to the Super Bowl his first year as a starter. Since then, his numbers have tailed off. He dealt with an injury, and somehow he got a big extension, even though putting up mediocre numbers last year. And in one of the most important games of the season, he threw five intercepts. And in my personal opinion, if you notice, Jake DeLone throws a lot of jump balls. And Steve Smith, who is an outstanding receiver, saves him from a lot of bad plays. Look for Jake DeLone to either struggle this year, go down with injury, or whatnot. But he tops off my number one overrated player in the NFL. And thank you for visiting footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. Check back real soon for more video updates. I'm Cornell Hunter. I'll see you soon.